right guys, it's Game Boy Luke here, and I have just woken up, literally just woken up, the first thing I see when I wake up is this new trailer shown on the, um, Pokemon, the Japanese Pokemon's YouTube channel. It's amazing, to say the least. It shows so much, uh, it, it does show a lot of new stuff, but it does also show a lot of stuff we've seen before. Um, I'm not gonna go over the whole trailer because I would basically be repeating myself. Um, I do have a few things to say about some parts of the trailer, so I'm just gonna cut out a few snapshots or a few like loops or whatever of the trailer and uh, show you guys um, the new stuff and my thoughts on it, so let's go. To begin with, we're shown four small screenshots or small little clips of areas in uh, Hoenn that we all know and all know about, but the revamped versions of the Minot Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Uh, start to start off with, we have a little area south of Fortree City with the long grass and the water here. Um, and when it looks at things, it looks like the camera is kind of like zoomed out on the person because they seem a lot smaller than they did in in, um, in, than they did in uh, X and Y. Sorry. Um, and the, it just looks beautiful. It looks so it looks so lush and bright. And beautiful it, look, it just looks amazing and the trees I think it looks uh, with, I think either the player's been brought small or the camera zoomed out or something but the player looks more in perspective with the other things that are around it which makes more sense to me um, then we have Pacific log town I think it's Pacific log town looks gorgeous the water I think the water is like one of the most amazing things about this today. Look at look it just looks so shiny and so they've really gone to town with this game. And I love it, it looks it just looks there isn't much to say about Pacific Long Town honestly because it's kind of an irrelevant town. Hopefully they do something with it in this game. But it just looks really really nice in honesty and I feel like most of this trailer is just gonna be filled with me saying how nice things are. But yeah. <laughs> and then we have all this this was crazy. You look at this underwater thing. You use dive and you put on this cute la little little face mask on. You're riding a whalemer. There's Corsola floating around you. Um, they've I, I honestly did wonder what diving would look like in this game, and it looks sick. This looks amazing. They've uh, I, I can't imagine what else they've done with it. I feel like this is just like you know when you're walking around and the camera the camera's like position changes. I feel like that's gonna happen underwater. You could be start, you could be like swimming through, and then as soon as you meet one point, the camera pans above you. To do like a different puzzle or something, or the pan, the camera pans to the left or right of you, and so on and so forth. Um, that looks awesome. And then we have the desert area, which looks really nice because they've added like layers of sand that you can walk up and down, like like as if it's a hill and stuff like that. It just it, this also looks really really nice. I mean, then we have some battle animation right here, which which we, we can notice straight away is different from uh, X and Y. And the the, um, the angle of like sending out your Pokemon has changed as well. You you face more to the like the back right of your uh, of your of your character. He launches the Pokeball out, and the uh, Pokeball the Pokemon is um, sent out at more of an angle as well, especially at the start. And as it goes for an attack, at the angle the camera there's a lot of camera angle changes. I guess they, did, they didn't want to make it look exactly like Pokemon X and Y, so they kind of just did um, a few camera angle changes and a few other things to make it look a little bit more unique. Uh, then we have this area. I'm not actually sure where this area is. I have a feeling it's um, by the Wisma Cave, or it's by, or it's up, up north of um, Slateport City. But I honestly don't know where this area is. I'm honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but there he is. There's this little guy who's gonna fight you. He's gonna send out a Ralt. I'm honestly waiting to see Wally. I don't know if we've already been shown Wally yet, but I am waiting for that. And then we're shown this really cool cutscene of us walking up to the Team Aqua and Team Magma uh, hideouts. Uh, we have the Team Magma leader with the uh, their, their admins, the Team Aqua leader, and their their admins. And then we have this really, really cool cutscene, which I really, really like. I don't know what it is about this, but the start of the cutscene with the um with Ma Ma Maxi, the Team Magma leader, walking towards you with this just this disgusted look on his face, and then he turns his head to the right or his left, and it looks at you. This is obviously in the Slateport Museum. Um, I like this cutscene a lot. It's, it's su such a bad spoiler for me, because I, 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 if I saw this the first time I played through it, I'd be like, oh my god, this is so intense. Um, but we have that, you can really actually clearly see a Megastone on the side of his glasses right there, that's really, that's kind of cool. Um, and then we have this one, like another, another an Aqua one, in Meteor Falls, right here, where Archie walks up with his two grunts. And then we have this, what looks to see, what seems to be like, 
I would say like he's like to, about to engage battle, but it's probably just another camera switch. Um, when he's talking about some story stuff, which is pretty cool. And then we have this screenshot, which, which you've already seen. Um, and then we have this. This is pretty cool. This I I feel like this is when Kyoga and Groudon first turn primal. Um, they have these crazy ass. Uh, form like this weird ass pink jewel form around blue jewel around um, Kyoga and they just turn primal and you're stood in front of this and the camera is slowly panning that's sick that is so cool I don't care what anyone says that's nice that's really nice I would talk about the contest stuff but I think it's mostly stuff we've already seen you just see a few moves from Pikachu uh, a few of this co like in-game in content contest stuff uh, and then they have a bit on secret bases as well which isn't too amazing so, I mean, if you want to check that out, you can watch the, the, the trailer, which is always linked in the description below. So, don't worry about that. If you want to go see that, you go ahead and go ahead and watch that. There's no point in me talking about it, because I've basically talked about it anyway. Um, but from other screenshots, we have uh, this amazing Mount Pyre screenshot. And, like, as I mentioned, I, with the underwater thing, like, as you walk, the camera angle changes. And, like, as you're walking up Mount Pyre, you can see the camera pans out. And you can see, like, the whole of the peak of Mount, pa Mount Pyre, which looks amazing. Then we have another camera angle switch, and I feel like this is in... Uh, I'm trying to get my cities right. I think this is in Moss Deep. If you walk up to this this platform right here, yeah, this is Moss Deep because in the distance you can see uh, the route that heads to the Shoal Cave. Uh, you can see it's, it's Rocket, which is the space station. I think yeah, it's the space station. It must be the space station, or this Rocket that's linked to the space station in Moss Deep Sea. And that's a great. That's a nice view. That's a really cool view. And next we have uh, surfing in Sutopolis. And you can actually see like the uh, the edges of the mountains reflected in the water, which I really appreciate. It's the little things like that that I really, really do appreciate. Um, the stuff that looks really like really, that's the subtle stuff that looks really, really nice. And then after that we have this guy uh, walking around in the um, is it, this is the gym? Is this the water gym in Sutopolis? Uh, he's not doing a very good job by looks things because he falls straight through. Um, and then we have, I saw, I saw like happy then, and then uh, we're on the acro bike, bouncing around on the rocks. Uh, and I, this is what confused me, I have no idea what this is all about. You can see your player tiptoeing. Is that a new feature? Your player tiptoes up to a Pikachu tail. Okay, that's definitely new. I don't know what this is, I'm, there may be information somewhere else. Probably should check Cerebi or something for that, but honestly, I have no idea what this is all about. So that's something new for sure. Um, we have this is on route to, to Fortree City from Marvel City. This route here with the bridge that goes across. Uh, normally you go right to left, and then up north is where uh, Fortree City is and the Weather Institute. I feel. And then we got some Pokemon and me stuff. After that's display, we have the submarine that's stolen. It's a Sharpedo submarine for the Team Aqua and us. That's, that's cool. I appreciate that. That's that's nice. And we have this crazy walkway up to this, like, really Japanese-esque, like, place. I feel like uh, this might be somewhere... I just think about gym, the Elite Four members. I feel like maybe this might be an Elite Four uh, walkway up to the, ne like the next member or the champion or something like that. There's a lot of ash, so a lot of people think it's like uh, something to do with Mount Pyre, but I, wouldn't, I don't think they go all out like this just to show you uh, something to do with Mount Pyre or something like that. It just makes sense to me. Um, not Mount Pyre, um, the Ash Place next to Falaba Town. Sorry, I do apologize. Um, and then we, after that, after that, we just have a few more attacks, and then this, this trailer is almost wrapped up, except for this final piece where you see uh, Latios. Oh my god, you see Latios flying around Hoenn. This gave me chills. This, this, this one screenshot right here gave me all of the excitement I needed. He just shoots off, and you see a player. Like enjoying a cycle. I feel like this is after you've beaten the Elite Four. After you've beaten the Elite Four, you have that little cycling thing, credits roll. And at the end, you're going to see a Latios do a freaking somersault and just like sonic boom. He just like sonic booms, like pew, and disappears. And that was cool. That was cool. And we have these Prime Revolutions from the final screenshots. And that is basically it. So I'm sorry if I stuttered a lot. I didn't know what to say. Like I, I did mention I've just woken up. I'm uh, really hyped about this kind of thing. And I just wanted to go over these things with you guys, so leave what your thoughts in the comment section below, and don't forget to check out the trailer yourself in all its glory, I think one of the best things about it is music, and I didn't want to put the trailer in this, because I felt like I might get a copyright strike after Pokemon Fighters last week, I don't want to talk about that, it was ridiculous, but go check out the trailer yourself, it really is beautiful, and I will see you guys next time.